Hi everyone. I hope you all had just a wonderful Christmas celebration with your families. Today we celebrate the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. You know, we all learn lots of really important things from our families. What are some of the important things you've learned from your family? I bet you things like how to pray or how to make your bed and be polite, things like that. You know, we know that Jesus learned many important things from his family. You know, Joseph was a carpenter and Jesus probably learned how to make things out of wood when he was growing up. What other things do you think that Jesus might have learned from Joseph? He probably learned how to pray in the synagogue and to worship God and to be polite and to listen to his mother. And what might have Jesus learned from his mother, Mary? I'm sure that he learned obedience to God and, um, and uh, to be ready for his mission here on earth. Today's gospel tells us about another important thing that Jesus learned from his parents and about some people they met along the way. So let's listen. A reading from the gospel of Luke. May Christ's words be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Mary and Joseph brought Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem to present him to God and to make an offering of two turtle doves. That same day, a man named Simeon came to the temple. He was a good and holy man and was waiting for the Messiah to come. When Simeon saw the child Jesus, he took him in his arms and praised God and said, Now God, you have kept your promise. I have seen the Savior. He is the light of the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Jesus's mother and father were amazed at what Simeon had said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, Jesus's mother, this child will be a sign for all the people of Israel. Some people will accept him and be saved. Others will reject him. And in your heart, you will suffer because of this. There was also a holy woman a prophetess named Anna, who was in the temple. When she saw the child, she too began to praise God, and she talked about him to everyone who was waiting for the Messiah to come. Mary and Joseph went back to Nazareth, and the child Jesus grew in size and strength. He was filled with the wisdom and grace of God. The Gospel of the Lord, and we all say praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to Jerusalem and presented him to the Lord. By doing this, they honored an important Jewish tradition. What do you think that Jesus later learned from this? I think that he learned that faith in God was important to his family, just like it is to yours. Okay, so who was the man in the temple? His name was Simeon. You know, Simeon recognized that Jesus is the light and the savior of the world. So how is Jesus our light? You know, his examples and teachings light the path we should walk so that we can return to heaven someday. And how is Jesus our savior? Since he was born both fully human and fully divine, he was powerful enough to make up for our sins and to sacrifice himself for all of us. Okay, and then who was the woman that they met in the temple? Her name was Anna and she was a prophetess. So what did she do once she met the infant Jesus? You know, it says that she talked to um, everyone about him, about um, all those people that were waiting for the Messiah, the person who was coming to save them. You know, many people today are waiting for a sign of hope, for help, for light, for salvation. We should feel free to talk to these people about Jesus, who is our light, our hope, our help, and our salvation. And so with that, let's pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may it always uphold the dignity of the family blessed by God, support the bonds that unite them and inspire uh, then through the gospel of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole human family, that we may learn to live in peace, striving to break down the barriers of prejudice, 
hatred, racism, bigotry, and intolerance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For parents anxious for their children, calm their fears, bless them with grace and confidence, and help them to nourish healthy relationships with their children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In gratitude for the blessing of our families, for all they do for one another, for the sacrifices they make, for the love they share and the support they offer each other. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those things we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's finish off with the glory be. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Happy New Year, everyone. Bye.